The mummers over a plot to rig the forthcoming August 8th elections have only grown louder and now the link from where the opposition sits is the technology meant for identification and transmission of electoral results. The termination of the Kim's tender by IEBC has now intensified opposition claims that there is a grand scheme to rig the polls with NASA founder Musale Mudavadi claiming in a statement the termination was a cover-up for corruption. He says, quote, IBC should come clean on what happens next in light of the IBC stating it will be almost impossible for the commission to execute its mandate within the statutory timelines. This is not only a curious line of argument but introduces a terrifying thought that there might never be the Kims. Only yesterday, CIA Senator James Orengo accused Jubilee of laying the ground for a manual election. In a statement, Orengo said, quote, Without the establishment of an integrated electronic electoral system, no valid elections can be held in Kenya. The opposition seeing in the cancellation that the IBC has blamed on tender was a confirmation of its worst fears on rigging. They don't even know how many dead voters are on that register. They don't know how many people are double registered in that register. They don't know about the fake uh, 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 people who are in that register. So we will say that we want to go to a, a poll with a clean register. But even with the political debate getting louder, the decision to cancel the three billion shilling tender has been challenged by Gemalto, the very firm that had landed the deal. The firm has disputed the time constraint reason cited by IBC as among the reasons informing the cancellation. By saying, quote, we do have a track record of successful deliveries of large scale projects, including elections related solutions within challenging lead times. IBC through CEO Ezra Chiloba had also blamed litigation around the tender for the cancellation. The commission also cites substantial technological change, saying, quote, The commission considered that the scope of technology requirements had changed following the recent conclusion of the mass voter registration drive. Therefore, there would be no value for money to retain the voter registration component in KIMS at present. IBC is, however, insisting that there is no cause for alarm. IBC Chair of Fulacha Bukati says the commission is putting all systems in place to ensure a timely delivery of the elections that are free, fair, credible and are governed by various articles of the constitution, laws and regulations. Jackie Maribe, Citizen Live at 9.